Jack Berry, and I'm here at Timberstone with the golf professional Larry Short in a beautiful golf course you got here, Larry. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. It is. It is quite the track. Now, I've I've heard the kind of the joke about uh, Timberstone. Uh, there's your ball can hit timber or it can hit stone. There are a lot of rocks and a lot of trees there, here. Is that there right? Is, there is. There's a bunch of boulders and rocks outlaying the, the fairways and the cart pass. And uh, it's a pretty narrow track with forest lines all over. Well, uh, Jerry Matthews did this course, and it's one of Jerry's uh, very best uh, golf courses. And uh, Jerry came looking for some of those rocks. Tell me that little story. Uh, he he came uh, by a few years ago when he took a court track or right around the track with uh, with our old superintendent, and they're driving around. And Jerry was like, "Yeah, this is uh, this is still in great shape, but where'd all the rocks go? You know, because of all the growing uh, through the years of fescue growing through them." So he's wondering where all the rocks were went, and he had to tell him they're still there; they're just hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Dimmerstone is one of my favorites because of the site. And I like creative landscape to work with. And this is really creative. There's a uh, well-known ski run there at this at the ski resort. And the hills, the elevation from the lodge down there up to the top of the hill is 300 feet, which is pretty good. I know there's a lot of mountains with more than that, but for Michigan, that's pretty good. So the challenge was to uh, get a golf course that you didn't have to walk uphill. And uh, that's at least the way that's I approached it. And we were able to do that too. And uh, but the other feature of that site was I've not come across a site with so many stones and boulders. I mean, you could walk on the ground and never touch earth. But uh, so that just became part of the design. But uh, we came up just I'm playing horizontally along the hillside, going up, and ended up with a 17 hole on a, on top of the hill, playing down to the green. You can see 35 miles in the distance. It's a great picture hole. And a great golf hole. But I like par threes. And then the, what about the uh, the 18th hole? You had a few rocks. The 18 is behind us. Yeah, number 18. Uh, we got some pictures uh, from back in the day when they were building it. Uh, all of that was basically just dirt and a bunch of boulders. And one day they went to go seed it, and all the seeds started washing away. And they were like, well, you know, I guess the story was is the seed washed away, and they're just like, that's okay because we still got to dig up a bunch of more boulders. You, you know, you're, you're putting seed on top of boulders. You can't grow it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, playing with you uh, yesterday was a wonderful time, and it seemed on every tee you just looked out at the at the fairway, at the hole. They just look marvelous. It, it is. I, I had a great time playing with you yesterday. It was a beautiful day, a little hot, but still a great sunny day. And, you know, every, co every hole on this uh, track here has a, a great view. And, you know, it's it's like it's telling a story throughout the entire round of 18, going up to the, you know, to the finishing holes on 17 and 18, uh, overlooking, you know, where you can go out to see Segola, Michigan, and, and all the, the beautiful views from there. Well, 17, it looks like you can see the whole Upper Peninsula from there. It, it's it's close. It's close. <laughs> that, that is a beautiful hole. And then 18 coming down. 18 coming down, it's it's quite uh, quite the monster. 625 from the from the tips. It's quite the par five, but it's still a great finishing hole. Tell us a little bit more about how you got into the business and how you became the head golf professional here. Uh, well, I uh, started off as the uh, as a curbside guy. I just you know started working for Joe Rizzo at the time, and uh, the next year he liked my work ethic and you know kind of took me under his wing. And since then, I've worked my way from curbside to cur or from curbside to the assistant uh, golf professional to now uh, this year getting promoted to the director of golf. Well, I'll tell you, Larry hits the ball long and very high. I don't think I've ever seen anybody hit hit that ball that high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had we had quite a poke on uh, nine yesterday, but uh, thanks. It was a great time playing with you. Um, I, I wish uh, I wish we had more time during the day to play a couple more holes. Well, uh, we played the forward tee, which is my tee, and uh, Larry had a good time playing from way up there. And you, how many tees do you have? Uh, we have uh, the time right now. We have six tees, uh, ranging from 5,800 yards all the way to 6,900 yards. And uh, that 6,900, I think, is kind of uh, kind of fools you a little bit. I think that's 
probably a lot plays a lot longer it, than 69. C- certain holes will play a lot lot longer than 69. Uh, you know, you know, with the elevation change. So you know, when you come play the tips, you gotta you gotta have a good game coming to play the tips here. Well, from the, and the six T's, there is a T for everyone. I, th- I thought that was uh, remarkable and very commendable. It is. It is. You know, we, you know, in the years uh, up to this year, we've been telling, uh, we've been getting reviews on people asking about, you know, this this T box is too long, this T box is too short. Uh, so we just, you know, we decided to take the census of the people and add a couple more T boxes, so you can kind of get a playability from all different types of yardages and all different handicaps. Well, the one place you do not play from is uh, they have a big ski jump here, the Pine Mountain Slide, and you don't have to climb to the top. You can climb to the top of it, but you don't have to play from up there. No, no, you do not, but you know what? If you do decide to come out and, and climb the stairs and climb the ski hill, definitely do it. It's a fun time, and you can see it's one heck of a view from the top of the ski jump. You can actually see a couple of the holes from the top of the ski jump as well, which is a pretty cool sight. Well, that is high, and there's no escalator, believe me. (laughs) And the superintendent is? Kevin Kretz. He comes from uh, Michigan State, started uh, last year, and he's done uh, a great job since he's been here. Well, the course is in beautiful condition. It, it is, and it's all it's all due to him and his and his staff. Uh, he, he knows how to properly, you know, put down what he needs to keep the grass healthy, and he's he's a very talented young guy. He's going to do great here. Well, I think Jerry Matthews uh, said, uh, "You play here, and you think that you know it's Pine Mountain, but it doesn't seem like a mountain." It, it doesn't. You know, you play, you start from number one, and you gradually work your way up the hill once you get to nine. When you get to nine, you're somewhat, you know, up the hill. But once you hit the back nine, you start seeing an elevation change. And you still really don't see it until you until you hit 17 and where you're at the top of the, to the, top of the hill. And then you actually realize what the elevation change has been like since you got to ground zero. Well, that's quite a job for the superintendent, then. It, it is. It is. He, his staff is great. He's great. You know, I, I can't applaud him more for what he's done for this course since he started. And the people must be happy playing it. Oh, they, I, you know, since since uh, since he started, uh, you know, the the people have been very happy with the greens, been very happy with the way the course looks, you know. So he's doing a really good job, you know, here, and and we uh, we can't applaud him more. Well, I say it, it's a lot of fun to play. Six tees, you can pick your poison and uh, really enjoy it. I'm, every hole is a beautiful hole, and I'm a white pine lover, and the white pine forest here is fantastic. <laughs> that, that it is, the white pines and uh, also the wildlife. You know, you, you come out to Timberstone, you don't know what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of chipmunks. Uh, you might see some raccoons. Uh, you know, we've had moose sightings, coyote sightings. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we has, so got a, a cub bear and a mama bear walking down one of the fairways. So, you know, you just never know what you're going to find here out at Timberstone. That's Timberstone. What a fine golf course here in the northern uh, part of Michigan. And you realize when you get here, you're up north. You're really up north, and it's beautiful.